what's up naturals so you clicked on this video because you want to know how to make nut milk in a blender i got you so in today's video i want to show you how you can make cashew milk almond milk uh, oat milk and how to make walnut milk so for starters i want to share with you how you can make your own cashew milk you're gonna need cashews a mixing cup a bowl a nut bag and of course a blender you can also add flavors to your cashew milk like coconut flakes or vanilla extract i will get into that later in the video because i pretty much make all my milks the same and lastly you're gonna need something to put it in i personally use glass containers like this so with the cashew milk nothing is an exact measurement if i'm 100 percent honest at least i did not completely measure like I was supposed to. So what you want to do is get you one cup of cashews and you want to go ahead and pour it into your mixing bowl. You want to let it sit for a good 12 to 24 hours and just let it soak. After that, go ahead and rinse it all off. And once you rinse it off, you could put it in your blender. And you wanna use a really good blender so that it can actually break up everything. The whole purpose of soaking your cashews is to make everything just a little bit softer and easier to work with. So then what you're gonna do is put those same soaked cashews into your blender and you're going to add four cups of filtered water. You don't wanna use faucet water. Uh, use like filtered spring water or something but you want to use the good clean stuff and you go ahead and you blend it and you blend it and you blend it until it looks smooth it's going to start looking like milk it's going to become nice white smooth all of that at that point which i'm not even going to front i usually do this at the beginning to make my life easier that is when you can add some vanilla extract because I am no pro at making homemade nut milk, this is very new to me. I was not gonna play around, around with wasting my vanilla extract, so I actually started using imitation vanilla, and I mean, it worked just as good. Uh, and actually, I like this better because it has a stronger vanilla taste. But make it as healthy as you want. Some people who do not wanna add vanilla flavors, they would add dates. Dates is a natural sweetener that you will see time and time again in the natural world okay they use dates in a lot of their recipes to make things sweeter usually use between one and three dates depending on how sweet i want it after that go ahead and get yourself a cheesecloth or a nut bag and you want to strain all of the good stuff out after that pour your new nut milk into a container of your choice you could use a glass container or you could use an old milk container like you could use whatever you got to be honest but just pour it into something let it cheat and then you're good to go how long does homemade cashew milk last about seven days in the refrigerator would be my as long as I'm gonna go with it next we have almond milk so you can make almond milk at home pretty much the same way you're gonna get a cup of almonds and you're going to soak them for a definitely probably 12 to 24 hours be careful with the almonds because I did at one point I put a top over it because that's what some people were saying do and it ended up fermenting and it was bad it was it smelled horrible anyway so don't do that and i messed up all those almonds for nothing so go ahead and soak them i usually leave mine uncovered and you want to make sure that it gets kind of plump that's what you're looking for so you want to soak it 12 to 24 hours so then you're going to get your blender and you're going to add four cups of water the almonds add your sweeteners whatever you want to use if it's dates or if it's coconut flakes or a little bit of vanilla extract get creative with it but you can go ahead and add all of that to your blender and blend 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 till you can't blend no more okay once it start looking looking nice and smooth and everything looks great go ahead and get your nut milk bag and strain it put it in your container so that it can chill and then you can use it for up to seven days next we have walnut milk so walnut milk do not taste like walnuts, surprisingly. I don't know if it was the amount of water I used or what, but I was a little scared because, you know, I don't really like to taste the walnuts like this. So I was like, mm, am I going to like this? I don't know because I don't want to be wasteful. These, these nuts are not cheap, okay? <laughs> they are not. You make walnut milk very similar to how you make almond milk. You're going to get you a cup of walnuts and you can soak them for about six to 
12 hours. Put it in your blender and then you're gonna add your filtered water to it and you wanna blend. With the walnuts, let me tell you, okay? And this is a secret that my sister gave me because she the real milk maker in the family, okay? She told me to add coconut flakes. So I did it and I'm not a fan of coconut. But when I tell you, this changed the whole game for me. It was amazing. Try it. So then you're gonna put it in your container, chill it, and then enjoy. And last we have oat milk. Now this is the more affordable, budget-friendly version of making your own milk. Nuts can get very expensive. I have a Sam's membership, so it's a little cheaper to buy it in big bulks instead of like going to like a Walmart because them little bags is expensive. You get a big thing of oatmeal for like $4, okay? And this can make a lot of milk. So you, now the oat milk one is a little bit more of a challenge for me because you can make oat meal really fast if you're not careful. This is an example of what I mean. So this is the oat milk I made. Not the best, but it was my first time. And as you can see at the bottom, it it it's a little thick. And I'll tell you why that happened uh, in a moment so you can avoid this. But I wasn't going to waste it because the rest of it is fine. So with the oat milk, you're going to get you one cup of oats. You're not going to soak these at all. You're going to put them right in the blender. And let me tell you, you want to, with this one, you want to make sure that you pretty much have everything with you right in that moment. And that's where I messed up at because I ended up having to run all the way to the bedroom to get the cheesecloth. Put your one cup of oat milk in your blender, and then you're going to add cold water. You're gonna add about four cups of cold water to your blender and blend quick. <laughs> and after that, you can add whatever flavors you wanna add. If that is vanilla extract or dates, you can do that at that point. Blend it quickly. For the oat milk, I added a little bit of Himalayan salt. Actually, to most of them I did. Uh, just a little bit because it brings out the flavor and it acts as a preservative. With the oat milk, you wanna, you wanna squeeze it very easily so that you're not squeezing out that slime and you don't want to use hot water because well that that would cause it to turn into oatmeal a little too, too quick with this one you have to work fast but careful that's how you make all the different milk in a blender but now let's talk about the blender okay so i actually use the ninja so with the ninja they give you all three of these and that is what I love. So you get the medium version blender, you get the very tiny one, and then you get the large one. So when I'm making a big thing of milk, I usually tend to use the large one, of course. Uh, when I'm just making a little bit, not much, because like I said, sometimes we don't use a lot of milk. I'll use this one. And then if I'm making like a really small amount of something, I would just use this one because the blades go all the way to the top. Like each blade is different. And the way it works is you just put this little thing on the top and this top fits on both of them. So you just put this little thing on the top like this and you push down. It works amazing because, because it gives me some versatility, which I love in case I need to add something, take away something, use less, use more. I am obsessed with the Ninja. And like I said, Everything is linked in the description down below if you want to know exactly what I have been using. Next, let's talk about the nut bag. Now you can use one with the handle. And the only problem with this is some of the ones with the handle is very small. And so it's a little harder to squeeze. But for something like cashew milk where you don't need to squeeze that much, this is a great option. For the thicker ones like almond milk, not so much. The other option is these nut milk bags, which I got off of Amazon. They are huge, okay? I love these things. So they are, <laughs> and you can use these. So it comes two in a pack and they are reusable, which I absolutely love. Or you can use a cheesecloth and you can get these from Walmart or pretty much anywhere. Now, I like cheesecloths for something like the oats milk. So when I'm doing a oat milk recipe, these come in handy because it is, it's thinner and it's bigger, like it's huge. I'm not gonna open it because it's huge, but if you watched any of the shorts, which probably is how you found this video, then yes, 
you know what I'm talking about. This one is way bigger. And you just throw it away when you're done because it gets messy. So I use all those three different kinds. So for those of you that don't really want to make the milk just yet, but you want to look for some healthier options. When I started my low toxic living journey, I started paying more attention to ingredients because I realized that ingredients can either harm us or help us depending on what they're using. Now, in the process of me becoming more aware of ingredients, I started looking at the milk and other products too. And I noticed that milk had a lot of ingredients. Why does walnut milk need so much stuff? So I ended up looking up and trying a bunch of milk alternatives. And so this is one brand that I found, which is Malk brand love it okay but this is when i realized something this is actually the best tasting milk alternative that i have found so far but what caught my attention is it said no fillers gum free oil free and it was really marketing that it was just three ingredients and i'm like three ingredients so i went to the other almond milks and i'm like well why i got so many ingredients and what the heck is gum free I'm like, what's gum? I started doing what millennials do best and I started researching and that is when I realized I don't need all those fillers and things like that to have good milk. You don't need all those natural flavors and things that we don't understand what it is, but we know that they're doing things to our health. So long term, a lot of those extra fillers and ingredients that they have yeah, it makes the milk taste amazing. It keeps everything together, but some of those things can be causing inflammation and it could be destructive to our digestive health. And if we know any, like our stomach, our digestive system, all of that is like a big old ecosystem for our body to be able to fight off different diseases, sicknesses, and things like that. So you wanna protect that area, okay? So I love looking up natural alternatives to things that I use every day. And if that's something that you enjoy too, then definitely hit the subscribe button, thumbs this video up, save it for later if you have to come back to it, uh, whatever you need. But this is literally my favorite milk, but it's a little on the expensive side and I can't always get it. And I also can't always get access to it. And so for me, I was like, well, let me start learning how to make it myself. The only ingredients in here is filtered water, organic almonds, and Himalayan salt. So I was like, I could make that. And so I started making milk myself and I've actually been very committed to the journey ever since because it's so easy to do. Can you imagine how lit our childhood could have been if we would have known this y'all remember that scene in friday where he sat down with a big bowl of cereal and he had his milk all ready and then he was like he tried he tried to pour it in and it was no milk and he's like man y'all don't have nothing in this house <laughs> y'all that friday my movie but it reminded me of my childhood it's so many times that we ran out of milk now we stayed with like oatmeal and stuff. Not real, we, we ain't really had no cashews and stuff. That's a little bit more out of budget. We had oats all the time. And when I think about how lit or how amazing it would have been for me to tell my parents when they like, girl, you better go get that faucet water. It'll taste the same on your cereal. If I could have been like, well, mom, dad, we got some oats, give me some water and I'm gonna make us some milk. A cow for what? We don't need a cow, ma. We got oats, okay? Can you imagine? Like, I don't know what in my head never clicked. You can make milk alternatives out of other things. And it's like, it really took me getting older and being introduced to like the plant-based world and then understanding what lactose intolerant was. And so I really thought that I was being healthy, healthy using almond milk from the store versus using cow's milk. But no, I really wasn't. So what I realized is most of the milks on the market have things like gum in it and that's basically like an emulsifier to keep everything together so i guess it won't separate but 
I'd rather my milk separate, okay? And actually, I haven't had that problem making it myself. And so if you have ever experienced that, let me know in the comments down below. Like, would your childhood have been lit too if you would have known how to make these recipes growing up? Because I'm telling you, I could have, man, mm, it's okay. Everything happened in God's timing. But let me tell you, my future nieces, nephews, all them people, when they come over here, they making their own milk. They gonna be milkers. So if you don't wanna waste like nut bags and all that stuff, they actually have something called an um, almond cow. Now, those are a tad bit pricey. But if you're committing to this making your own milk journey, that may be something that you wanna invest in because they work really well for people who make milk all the time. So now you know how to make milk in a blend.